Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Jake Ostrove. Let's take a look now at our first forecast. Alexandra Bond is standing by in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab with more. Here's our evening sunset that we saw earlier today. Looks really calm and peaceful out there, but it's actually pretty chilly and a little breezy. We saw rain earlier. But that cleared out, made way for some sunny skies that we saw earlier today, dry conditions, starting to finally feel like fall. Throughout the rest of the evening, temperatures will be dropping down into the 40s. 48 as a temperature here right now in Clarksburg, but we'll be dropping down to the lower 40s, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies expected, and a breeze flowing by. Temperatures across the rest of the region overnight will be in the 30s and 40s. Mostly dry conditions, partly cloudy skies. We'll have more on your forecast coming up shortly. A vehicle accident in Doddridge County has killed four people. The incident happened at about 8.30 p.m. on Friday along Route 50 at the intersection of Doe Run Road. After a preliminary investigation done by the Doddridge County Sheriff's Office, it was determined that a FedEx truck driving on Route 50 collided with a Chevrolet as it was turning onto the highway. The collision resulted in four fatalities, the driver of the FedEx truck, the driver of the Chevrolet, and two other passengers in the car. The investigation is still ongoing, and the identification of the individuals killed in the wreck is being withheld until their families are notified. After an increase in active COVID cases yesterday, there was a decrease in today's report. According to the DHHR, there are 10,017 active cases throughout the state, 196 fewer than yesterday. After 60 deaths were reported on Friday, no new deaths were reported today. The total number of deaths since the start of the pandemic sits at 4,108. There are 785 people currently in the hospital due to COVID-19, over 600 of which were unvaccinated. 50.2% of West Virginians are fully vaccinated against COVID, with over 35,500 residents receiving a third booster shot. The fourth annual Hops on the Mon was held in downtown Morgantown, right in front of the Monongalia County Courthouse. Officials with the event say that a few hundred tickets were sold, and it gave those attendees a chance to sample craft beer from Morgantown across the country and around the world. Live bands were performing on stage right in the courthouse plaza. So we have over 50 different breweries, probably a couple hundred different beers, uh, coupled with seven local restaurants, uh, two great local musicians, and really we're just inviting everybody to come downtown, celebrate High Street, celebrating being together after so long. Officials say the event was about good beer, the community, and food while giving people a positive experience in downtown Morgantown. An inductee ceremony was held today at the Fairmont Rotary Club for the first time ever West Virginia Martial Arts Hall of Fame. Organizers say it started with an idea at one of their breakfast meetings to be able to recognize all art forms. There were 25 inductees to the Martial Arts Hall of Fame and officials say that they will induct more members every other year into the Hall of Fame. I'll tell you what, we have some really, really good martial artists in West Virginia. And that's, that is why we're doing this. You know, we go where, everywhere. Uh, and, and we always come back leaving our stamp somewhere where, where we competed at. So it was, it was this time for us to just to recognize our own, you know, West Virginians. For many in the martial arts community, it was a night of celebration and fellowship among the martial artists who have known each other for a long time. The town of Whitehall held its inaugural community music event outside the public safety building. Town council officials say their members are very community oriented and thought it was a wonderful way to bring people together through music. All the bands that performed were local to the area, showcasing their talents and love for music. We see people from, from elementary school to mature citizens. Uh, so we, we have a nice... Uh, a nice mix of people here today. Um, the weather wasn't cooperating early. The sun came out, people came out. Food truck vendors were also on hand to provide a bite of something to eat for those in attendance. Michael also says that they would not be able to host such an event without the help of donors. This is the first year of the Pumpkin Spooktacular since the start of the pandemic on the lawn of the Waldemore in downtown Clarksburg. Organizers say this year they are excited to have so many people out on the lawn coming together to judge the pumpkins and fellowship among one another. 
There were approximately 250 pumpkins that were on display on the lawn, as well as a police escorted hayride. It was so awesome to be able to involve the kids in the community and the Clarksburg Police Department went and carved pumpkins with the kids and just really being able to build the bridge between, you know, the police department and the kids in the community. Organizers say a lot of the pumpkins that were on display on the lawn were donated by the pumpkin farm on Saltwell Road to local schools. Almost every school in Clarksburg had a carved pumpkin on display. Cats and dogs from all across north central West Virginia came to Harrison County Animal Control today for their eighth annual vaccination clinic. The clinic gave out normal yearly vaccines for $15 and rabies vaccines for $8 to felines and canines of all ages. All cats and dogs must be vaccinated against rabies according to West Virginia state law. Officials with the clinic are happy to help offset costs and are happy residents understand the importance of their pets annual vaccines. You know, it's great because I feel like everybody could use a little help in these times and this is a much less expensive way for them to to get this taken care of. Rabies is the biggest one. Um, it is a fatal disease um, and it is something that can be transmitted to humans. So if your dog gets bit and gets infected, they can give that disease to you. Officials with the clinic say they usually see about 200 patients for their annual clinic. And coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, there was a rally today about the Freedom to Vote Act. We'll check that out, plus a look at weather and sports around the region in just a bit. Stick with us. This virus is testing all of us, and Bridgeport Express Care is proud to offer the 15-minute rapid COVID test by nasal swab seven days a week. No appointments necessary and results in just 15 minutes. Now at Bridgeport Express Care, Johnson Avenue in Bridgeport. At Bacteria Busters Pro, we understand owning a business can be tricky in today's climate. Let Bacteria Busters Pro help keep you, your business, and customers safe and healthy. Call us today to stay COVID free. Have you ever been told it'll be several months to get your new home? Don't play the waiting game. Clayton Homes of Morgantown is stocked up with over 20 of our best selling models, ready for immediate purchase now. Stop in today and let our team show you how easy owning your dream home can be, because everyone deserves a place to call home. Clayton Homes of Morgantown on Greenback Road or ClaytonofMorgantown.com. Hi, I'm Hans Weichel. I'm an insurance agent that specializes in Medicare. We're still in the middle of Medicare AEP, or annual election period. You still have time to make any changes that you need to make to your current Medicare plan to be effective January 1st, 2022. If you need help, give me a call. I'm happy to help. WVU Medicine saved my life. I was this close to having a stroke. I had a T-car procedure because it was less invasive. I'm alive because of them. I'm looking forward to being a fun memo and enjoying life. This virus is testing all of us, and Bridgeport Express Care is proud to offer the 15-minute rapid COVID test by nasal swab seven days a week. No appointments necessary and results in just 15 minutes. Now at Bridgeport Express Care, Johnson Avenue in Bridgeport. Always updated, always on. WBOY.com and the 12 News app. Working for you, this is 12 News Weekend Edition. Welcome back. Several different community members in favor of the Freedom to Vote Act rallied together in Fairmont this morning. Rally members, including students, union members, veterans, and former Secretary of State Natalie Tennant, came together to show support for U.S. Senator Joe Manchin, who is a co-sponsor of the bill. The bill aims to set national guidelines on the right to vote, how money influences politics, and partisan gerrymandering. I'm out here because I, I see our, the state that our country is in right now, and it absolutely terrifies me. Faith in our elections is dropping, voter participation is dropping, and um, corruption is running rampant at all levels of government. So we, I'm out here to clean it up. The Senate is expected to take a procedural vote of the bill on Wednesday. The Robinson Grand Performing Arts Center and the Clarksburg History Museum partnered up for a spooky documentary this afternoon. 
Romeo Must Hang, the Harry Powers documentary, was shown at the theater showcasing the life of serial killer Harry Powers and his murder farm in Quiet Dell. After the show, eventgoers were able to have a Q&A with the producers and directors of the show and took a ride out to where the murder farm was located. Officials from the Clarksburg History Museum say with Halloween right around the corner, it was the perfect time for the scary show. There's a lot of interest nowadays in um, true crime stories, so we thought it would be a good idea to tell about one of the earliest serial killers you know, that lived in this area. Along with everything on Saturday, the Clarksburg History Museum has also opened an exhibit showcasing the life of Howie, Harry Powers. Now, the area's most accurate forecast Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. For those of you looking forward to fall, it's finally here. It felt like autumn today, and that will continue throughout the next few days. Uh, I personally like the sun, but I know some of you guys really like the apple cider, pumpkin spice things, so bring out your sweaters because it's going to be chilly these next few days. We might even see a frost in the higher and lower elevations, and it's really windy too. Wind gusts will be coming in from the west, and that will continue with us throughout the next few days. It won't be windy the entire day, every day, but gusts, very strong gusts are possible. Should be clearing out by Tuesday though. But make sure to put down anything that might blow away because it will be windy. This was our sunset earlier this evening. It looked really beautiful and calm out there. It was gusty even then. But it's pretty cool outside. Temperatures will be dropping down into the lower 40s tonight. We can expect mostly to partly cloudy skies. Uh, and low temperatures across the rest of the region will be in the mid-50s as well, dropping down into the upper 30s in the higher elevations. So, yeah, it's possible that we might get a frost sometime this week, so be mindful of that if your plants are outside. For tomorrow, the high will be in the upper 50s, feeling pretty cool out there, but it will be dry, it will be windy. A high-pressure system is bringing in lots of sunshine for us, but all that sunshine with the wind, competing forces, hopefully it'll even out and be comfortable for us. Taking a look at our predictor, we're seeing mostly dry conditions, looks dry across the region, and uh, we, we are seeing some clouds out there. Partly cloudy skies will continue throughout the remainder of our weekend, and we can expect mostly sunny skies for um, our beginning of next week and into the midway into the week. We do have shower chances on Thursday though, but aside from that, it's looking sunny and dry across all of West Virginia for us. Temperatures will be in the 60s and 50s. 60 was the high earlier today. Temperatures will be dropping down into the 40s tonight. 50s and 60s beginning into next week. Mostly sunny conditions for us. We do have shower chances on Thursday, scattered showers, and then to end our week, we're seeing partly cloudy skies. So we can expect to see lots of sun and dry conditions, cool conditions. Bring your sweaters and bundle up because it's going to be a lot cooler than we saw last week. Well, it seems that we finally hit that point where the seasons are turning and fall is finally settling in. And hey, before we know it, college basketball will be here here to tell us all about what to look for this WVU hoop season is Angelica Trenone with your Mountaineer Minute. Well, don't look now, but the WVU men's hoop season is right around the corner. And this year, redshirt freshman forward Isaiah Cottrell has plenty to prove. He only played in 10 games last season before suffering an Achilles injury. But Cottrell says now he's fully back, and he looked it on Friday night, putting up 16 points in the Gold Blue debut. Now he will see a big increase in his role this year. He says that's exactly what fueled him during his recovery. Cottrell even returned to the court a month or so before his expected timetable. And of course, he wasted no time picking up right where he left off. And like Coach Huggins told us on Thursday, that includes from three-point range. He shot the ball so well from the perimeter. I mean, he's really shot the ball well. He shot a couple yesterday that didn't move the net. I mean, they just, they were from three. 
We got, you know, he's he's, he's got to rebound it better. Just one of the things that way, but I mean, offensively, he's he's really shot the ball well. You can read the full story on Cottrell's return over at GoldenBlueNation.com, and that's also where you can find a recap of the victory for number 21 WVU men's soccer, 2-1 over Western Michigan. That's the latest on the Mountaineers here in Morgantown. I'm Angelica Trenone. Online anytime. Visit WBOY.com. We help you find your happy place, like milkshake mustaches, high fives, and high dives, or three on threes, two on twos, and one on ones. We see how these moments make us smile, so we make it easy to share your smile with safe and convenient care all in one place with evening and weekend hours. Right now, new patients get a complete exam and x rays free without insurance. Plus, everyone saves 20% on their treatment plan. Celebrate life's happiest moments. Call 1 800 Aspen Dental or book online today. A general dentistry office. With live betting on FanDuel Sportsbook. You can play here as fast as they play here all game long. Get goosebumps over bootlegs. Adrenaline rushes over rushes. Yes. Turn garbage time into greatness and make every moment of every game a big one. With live betting on FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook, make every moment more even after kickoff. New customers get a risk-free bet up to a thousand bucks. FanDuel, make every moment more. If you ride a motorcycle, you know a lot about your bike. But when it comes to your accident case, there's a lot you may not know. You need your West Virginia motorcycle lawyers to help you get back on your bike. I'm Tim Miley of the Miley Legal Group. We know the motorcycle laws as well as you know your bike. In fact, I wrote the book on West Virginia motorcycle accidents. For your free copy, visit WVMotorcycleLawyers.com. We'll help you get back on the road fast. Hit the tiger on your side. drives you shop toyota for legendary safety and reliability toyota let's go places toyota is the only automaker right here in west virginia with a 1.6 billion dollar investment bringing home 1700 jobs and over 270 million dollars in payroll so the next time you think of home and about making a difference remember who the home team is directly supporting our local economy go west virginia Go Toyota, and let's go places. And now it's time for the 12 Sports Zone, brought to you by Toyota. The I-79 Barrel Classic went down in Philippi this afternoon. Big Mountain East conference rivalry between Alderson Broadus and Glenville State. The Battlers with a good start in this one defensively. A.B. strips Glenville State quarterback DeAndre Clayton here. Then A.B. actually comes away with it. Of course, the Battlers excited about that start. Battlers ball now. They actually fumble here. Good thing former Lincoln standout Peyton Hawkins falls on it. Good play for the freshman there. Still A.B. ball. The Battlers with a chance to score here now. And they'll do it. Anthony Billups for the two-yard score. Alderson Broadus takes its first lead of the season actually right here. Seven to nothing. Still in the first quarter, Glenville State answers, though. Alfred Menjor takes it 10 yards to the house. It's all tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. Second quarter, all Glenville State. They put two more scores on the board and lead A.B. 21-7 at the halftime break. A.B. makes this one competitive, though. This rivalry always brings out the best in both teams. Pioneers come out on top 35-21, the final score in Philippi. Two other local MEC teams played this afternoon. Fairmont State falls to West Liberty on the road. 52-31 to that final. Falcons fall to 3-4 and on the season. And West Virginia Wesleyan suffers a loss on the road as well to 14-ranked Notre Dame. Bobcats fall 52-14. to And this Wesleyan team has yet to come away with a win this season as they fall to 0-7. 
In a couple of perennial NFL powers, the Seattle Seahawks and the Pittsburgh Steelers clashed this week on Sunday Night Football. The gang from Football Night in America gives us a preview. Sunday Night Football is a Super Bowl 40 rematch, but Seattle does not have Russell Wilson for the first time in a decade. Geno Smith will start for the Seahawks. I like Geno Smith and the Seahawks next week against the Steelers. I know that sounds crazy, but for a guy who came into this league highly touted, had some issues, has been a backup now for a while, I know they're really excited about him there. He's had a great offseason, came in and played very well the other night. I think he takes the next step and gets them the victory next week. And for the Steelers, I know they're excited. The offensive line starting to play like they need them to play. 147 yards rushing last week. That is the key to Steeler football to me. They get a balanced offense. They're going to be tough to handle. Terrible towels will be waved. Yes. The Steelers and the Seahawks on Sunday Night Football. It begins a football night in America at 7 Eastern. The Catch of the Week is brought to you by Salem University. Built on tradition, focused on the future. A lot of action from Friday night, including three great catches. Let's take a look at those. First one is RCB's Jeremiah King. We're used to him on the ground, but take a look at this catch. Gets up there in traffic. Got to watch this one in slow-mo. What a catch by Jeremiah King. Next catch comes from Kingwood. Look at this play. Kicks tipped here, then Riley Land gets a hand on it. Makes the catch. What a play. This one also awesome in slow-mo as Land shows his athleticism. Now to a catch from Rachel Brody Hall. Sends a pass and Landon Fry is there to get it before it hits the ground. Nice catch here by Fry in the Huskies win on Friday. Time now for the Stan Kimeon Insurance Coverage of the Week. Time for our coverage of the week segment. Some great defensive plays this week as well, which two rose to the top. Let's take a look at those. First one comes from Morgantown, where Bobby Powell absolutely robs a touchdown here. Watch him get up there, intercept this ball. Really nice play here by the Mohegans for Powell. And next, we have another interception in the end zone here. What a play by Latrell Jones of Robert C. Bird. A dart of a ball. He gets his hands on it to stop the touchdown there. And don't go anywhere. A final check on your forecast coming up right after the break. Stay with us. I'm a repeat customer. I bought two tractors off of them. They're very durable. And what they say about lift more, pull more, and push more, to me, that's the truth. At Joe Romeo's I-79 Honda, we're proud of what we sell. We know that Honda is all about safety, reliability, comfort, and design. We listen and help you through the process, online and in our showroom. We, we make, make car buying fun. fun. Oh, yes. Someone has a question back Hello? There. Hello. Hi. Uh, Carl from Waukegan. I was just wondering about your Caesars Sportsbook app, and I did some digging, and apparently I can only get my Caesars rewards on the Caesars Sportsbook app? Yes, Carl. Okay. Only Caesars is going to be able to give you Caesars rewards. They're my rewards. Why would someone else give them to you, Carl, if it's called Caesars rewards? It's Caesars rewarding you. All across this country, a nation of doers, fighters, and dreamers are beginning a new day with hope for tomorrow. Because our future doesn't belong to the lighthearted, it belongs to the brave. There's a new morning program which will celebrate the best of us. This is news for all America. It's morning in America. Did you know that the quality of indoor air can be two to five times more polluted than outside? No need to fear. With Bacteria Busters Pro and our state-of-the-art equipment, we will be able to clean and disinfect your air ducts easily and efficiently. Give you and your family peace of mind and breathe better today. Call for your free consultation. Bacteria Busters Pro, setting a new standard for clean. Demand for RVs is at historic levels. Did you know the average wait time for a new RV is over six months? Don't wait. We have nearly 30,000 factory fresh RVs in stock and ready for you today. Fresh from the factory to our stores to your driveway or campsite. See America for less with thousands of RVs available for less than $5 a day. Plus, come in today and put $0 down and make no payment for 90 days. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV today. Everyone talks about the new way of doing business, 
Well, our family has been doing it that way for years. That's why generation after generation of customers keep buying cars at Joe Romeo's I-79 Honda. Come and see us and experience the Joe Romeo Advantage. Welcome back. We got one last spooky story before we go. A pumpkin shortage is creeping across the country, haunting Americans just a week before Halloween. The lack of inventory is yet another consequence of the COVID-19 related shipping crisis. Extreme weather has also picked off pumpkins, crippling the global supply chain. Of course, fewer pumpkins will mean higher prices. Same goes for Halloween stores, which are also being haunted by the shipping issue. They're coming up on Halloween, but first we've got to worry about this week, and here's Alex with your final forecast. Earlier today we saw some rain, but things cleared up for us, and we're seeing dry conditions tonight. That will continue overnight for us and for the next few days as we have a high-pressure system moving in that will be bringing us some sunshine. We do have lots of wind gusts coming in, though, so be mindful of that. Low temperatures tonight will be dropping down into the 30s and 40s. Throughout the rest of the week, we'll see mostly sunny skies sticking with the shower chances on Thursday. And that's just about all the time we have for this weekend edition. Hey, we'll be back here tomorrow at 6 and after Sunday Night Football. Got a big game for the region. Pittsburgh Steelers just off North I-79 and Geno Smith, former Mountaineer standout, coming by to Pittsburgh. It's going to be a big one. We'll have all the recap, latest news, weather, and sports tomorrow at 6 and after football. Appreciate you tuning in. See you tomorrow.